So after the potential client contacted me um, through YouTube, he then asked me if I would like to see the enclosure and see how everything is built. And of course, I'm always interested to see whatever you guys will show me and we can go over and learn from it. And this is exactly what he sent me. So let's discuss it. This is the power box for the, the Maso controller. Hey guys, we can see that within this electronic enclosure we have here that basically there's no drives in here. It is just a power supply and essentially a remote power module. Now with the Maso, you'll see two types of systems. They'll either have the drive and the power supply there or they won't have the drives and therefore it'll just be a power module. That is what we see here. That being said, you do not need shielded cables because there are no signals going back and forth with this unit. The only thing you're doing is providing power. We also see ground leads coming in, and that is done correctly. The wire management is a little shoddy. We're using crimp connectors, and that's questionable. I prefer solder leads, and I've explained that in previous videos, but this is really not built as bad as it could be. And when I say that, the only thing really missing is an exhaust fan for the enclosure. We have one on top of the power supply, which is for uh, exhausting any hot air within the unit. But if we have an exhaust fan on the external enclosure, it will once again clear out all of that hot air from condensing inside there, which could cause overheating issues. So overall, it's not perfect, but it's also not the worst we've ever seen. This is really not that bad.